Good morning, Classic Country. 100.1 WGLC. Charles with you on your Friday. Joined on the phone by Jennifer Escatel, who is a nurse that's going to be traveling uh, some distance to help out people in need. Now, Jennifer, you are an RN, and you have signed up to do something pretty heroic, some would say. I guess so. You said you were in contact with a recruiter, and you've made the big decision. You're going to be leaving for New York City when? On Sunday. And you're going to be driving or flying? I am flying. As an RN, you're going to be going there and going to what hospital to help out? New York University. In Manhattan. And that's sort of the new epicenter of the coronavirus outbreak. When you get to New York... Uh, obviously, it's going to be a whole different situation than something you've you've had around here. How many years have you been a nurse? This will be my 12th year as a nurse. Uh, how prepared are you for this? I don't think anyone could ever be prepared for what I'm walking into. It's like a war zone out there. What's some of the things they talked about? Being prepared to walk into an ICU unit where you pretty much every person in there, every patient um, is on a ventilator and drips of medications, insulin drips, cardiac drip, pain drip, typically to keep them sedated from pulling things out. So what's the housing situation like then when you get to New York? Um, so through this company, it's actually pretty cool. They have a housing program. Um, I currently will be staying at a hotel right on Times Square, about two miles from the hospital. But working certainly very long shifts. You said about how yeah, long? 12 and a half hour shift. You have a family at home. How do they feel about this? My children's ages vary. My older daughters have expressed how heroic that they feel that it is, and they are scared that I'm leaving and what could happen. But at the same time, they know that this is just who I am, and they think it's pretty cool going to save lives so that other mommies and daddies can go home to their kids. Do you have an idea how long you're going to be in New York? My contract is through May 30th, so about eight weeks. And then uh, you could end up coming back here and still doing the same thing here in this area if need arises. Correct. <laughs> yep. And you'll have a lot more experience, unfortunately. Absolutely. Have you done any research on your own as to sort of some of the adjustments you're going to have to make to uh, caring for these coronavirus patients? <laughs> to be honest, taking care of them is not going to be any different than taking care of somebody else with some type of virus. In this case, because of the extent that it is, the PPE that you'll be wearing, it's definitely to the unit specified in the facility. So I really don't even know how much we'll be wearing. I mean, you can go from full jumpsuits, double mask, goggles, face shield to a simple mask, gown and glove. And I won't know that until I get there. Sounds like you have quite the challenge ahead of you. You leave on Sunday, again, talking to Jennifer Escatel of Mendota, a nurse who is going to be hopping on a plane and going to New York City to help out with the pandemic situation there. Definitely a heroic thing, at least in my opinion. I know many others will share that same opinion of what you're going to do. Do you know of any other nurses in the area or other medical professionals who are going to be going to New York? Believe it or not, since I kind of put my post on social media that I was going, um, I have a couple nurses that I had worked with previously that have reached out to me and now are communicating with my recruiter about possibly going out there as well. I hope it empowers other nurses to say, wow, you know what, I could probably do that too. That sounds incredible. Well, thank you for joining us today. Have a very safe trip. Come back at the end of May, and, and thank you so much for what you're going to be doing. Thanks. Jennifer Escatel, a nurse going to New York City from Mendota to help out with the pandemic. It's Classic Country, 100.1 WGLC.